Hi everybody, so this is the second video in my series on the sums of natural numbers. In the previous video, I showed you how to derive this formula. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use it for questions like we have here. Okay, so if we look at our first question, this is a summation between r equals 1 to 20. Now what this means is, if we have our values of r, when r equals 1, the next term from 1 to 20 would be when r equals 2. And because it's a summation, we're adding all of these terms up. And this becomes a series. So the penultimate term would be 19, and the final term would be 20. So we've got 20 terms in this series. Now we could add up all of these directly. But imagine if you had a thousand terms, that would become quite difficult. So from this series then, we can see we've got 20 terms, so n must equal 20. And now we can substitute this 20 into the formula we derived in the previous video. So the summation between r equals 1 to 20 of r will be equal to 1 half of n, which we know is 20, multiplied by 20 plus 1. Well, a half of 20 is 10, and 10 multiplied by the 21 would give us 210. So you can see this is a much easier way of working out the sum of all the terms in this series. Okay? So in our next example, we've been asked to find the sum between r equaling 1 up to the 12th term, where r equals 12, of the series 5 plus 2r. So the way we go about this is we break up this expression. We can say this will be equal to the sum of 5 between r equals 1 to 12 plus the sum between the same limits of 2r. And what we're going to do is we're going to work out each of these separately and then we'll add them together. So if we look at the first one, the sum between r equals 1 to 12 of 5, well, when r equals 1, the term will be 5. When r equals 2, again, we'll have 5. So what we've got here is 12 lots of 5. And we can calculate this very simply as 12 lots of 5, which is 60. Okay? Now, if we look at this summation between the sum of r equaling 1 and 12, of 2r. Well, when r equals 1, we will double that to get 2. When r equals 2, we will double that to get 4. When r equals 3, we will get 6. And we would add up all the terms until r equals 12, and then you'll get 24. But we can make this simpler. Can you see that 2 is a factor of every term in this series? So we can pull this 2 out in front, then we'll have 1 plus for 2, plus for 3, all the way up to plus in 12. Now in this series, is exactly the same as the summation of r between 1 and 12. So we can work out summations like this by bringing the constant out in front of our summation. So for this example, we know we're looking at 12 terms, so n will equal 12. So the summation then will be equal to two lots of one half multiplied by n multiplied by n plus one. You can see the two and the half will cancel. And the 12 times 13 makes 156. So the total sum between r equals one to 12 of 5 plus 2r will be the 60 plus 156, which gives us 216. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again, and take care.